Hi, my name is Tran Nguyen. I am a candidate of Pharmacy Class of 2021, and today I'll be going over a class of medication called Thiazolithin Dion, or TZD. So the first thing I'll be going over is patient constitution. Um, the class of medication is used to lower blood sugar in patients with diabetes. They're usually taken once or twice daily without regards to meals. And some common side effects that this class has include headache, runnies or, or stuffy nose, weight gain, or edema. Um, report to your doctor if you do notice any of these side effects, such as changes in vision, dark urine or pale stool, rapid weight gain, swelling in hands, ankles, or feet, trouble breathing, and severe joint pain. So a quick introduction, um, there are oral anti-diabetic medications. There are two medications that are currently available in this class, and it's teoglitazone, or the brand name is Actos, and Vlogiglitazone, and the brand name is Avandia. They're indicated in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. Um, they're generally not used as initial therapy or monotherapy in type 2 diabetic patients, but they're more used as an adjunct, uh, adjunctive agent on either a second line or more commonly third line in combination with other uh, diabetic medications. Um, if they fail to provide adequate glycemic control, um, they uh, decrease A1C by about 1 to 2 percent. So as for the mechanism of action, they're called insulin sensitizers. Um, they are ligands of the receptors of PPAR gamma, also PPAR alpha to a lesser extent um, in the liver, muscle, and adipose tissue. So stimulation of the PPAR gamma receptors influences the production of various genes involved in glucose and lipid metabolism. Um, this enhances the insulin sensitivity of the target tissues and resulting in increased glucose uptake and utilization in muscle and adipose tissue. So as for the dose adjustment, there's no renal dose adjustment necessary for this class of medication. Um, the hepatic function does need to be measured prior to initiation and needs to be monitored closely during therapy. Um, it's not recommended to start TZD if the LFT is elevated at initiation and it's elevated uh, 2.5 times or more than the normal limit. Um, if hepatic impairment is um, uh, identified prior to initiation, no dosage adjustment is necessary, but um, caution needs to be taken if it's abnormal. And um, if liver injury is suspected during therapy, um, therapy should be interrupted and the LFT needs to be uh, measured again. And it's not recommended to restart the therapy if ALT um, is greater than three times upper limits of normal and no other causes is identified. As for the adverse effects, it um, includes headache, fatigue, fluid retention, edema, weight gain, back pain, sinusitis or pharyngitis, hypothalamia, and variable lipid effects such as hyperlipidemia for avandia, also hepatotoxicity, bone fractures, and anemia. And some warnings and precautions of this class of medication. So they do have a black box warning for congestive heart failure and may cause or exacerbate CHF in some patients. Um, initiation is contraindicated in patients with established NYHA class 3 or 4. And if after initiation or any dose increases, um, the patient needs to be observed closely for any signs and symptoms of heart failure. Um, these could be excessive um, weight gain, or dyspnea or edema. And also dose-related edema is one of the warnings of the, the class of medication. This could increase the risk of CHF and weight gain. Also hepatic failure, hypoglycemia, and this is increased um, with use with any other uh, anti-diabetic medications or insulin. Um, increased risk of bone fractures or osteoporosis. Um, increased risk of bladder cancer in, um, in patients using Actos and macular edema. And for the monitoring pa parameters um, for efficacy, monitor the A1C at least twice yearly, the serum glucose levels, and for safety, um, the liver enzymes such as ALT, ASP, total bilirubin at baseline um, every two months for one year and then once or twice a year. Um, signs and symptoms of fluid retention or heart failure, um, monitor signs and symptoms of bladder cancer if the patient's taking actos, 
uh, for bone density, particularly in female patients, and a stomach exam. And that is it for my presentation. Thank you.